guys welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl gloria here and today is word wednesday and today's topic is going to be what is faith good for now the answer to that is faith is for impossible situations the other day i was spending some time with god and i was basically just telling him like ayo like i've got a whole bunch of things that seem crazy like i need a miracle for a lot of the promises that god gives me seem completely impossible and God's response to my question or my vent was that faith is for impossible situations. If you're not able to do it on your own ability or based off of your own resources or based off of your own circumstances, you need faith to get it done. You need faith for that breakthrough. You need faith for that miracle. You can't do it by yourself. I believe that if we weren't in impossible situations, if we weren't in situations that push us against the wall, we really wouldn't need God. If you could get it done by yourself, why would you need God? Why would you need him to come through for you? Why would you need him to rescue you? Why would you need him to save you? Which is why we need faith to believe. The Bible talks about how it is impossible to please God without faith. Because in order for him to move, he moves on behalf of how much we believe in him. He moves on behalf of how much we really truly believe that he is a man of his word. In Zechariah 8, 6, it talks about this is what the Lord of Heaven's army says. All this may seem impossible to you now, a small remnant of God's people, but is it impossible for me, says the Lord of Heaven's armies. So in this chapter, basically, God was telling Zechariah what he was planning to do with his people, with the people of Israel and Jerusalem, how he's planning to restore them and do all of these great things for them. And obviously, all these things that God is saying is not lining up with the situation, if you know what I mean. And he's like, well, just because it doesn't line up doesn't mean it's not possible for me. Just because the promises that God has given you doesn't line up with what you have, what's around you does not mean it's impossible for God. God is not going to give you something that he can't handle fulfilling. You know what I mean? Like he's able to do exactly what he says he's going to do. So we can't look too much on our situation. We can't look too much on our circumstances, even though realistically, that's exactly what's in front of us. It's like nothing is lining up with what you said, God. So what's up? Well, that's where faith comes in. You have to believe that even though this is going against what I said to you, you have to believe in me, believe in my word, believe in what I said, because I've done it before. I don't know about y'all, but... I truly believe that as you grow in your relationship with God, your faith tests seem harder and harder. For example, let's say you're at the gym, right? And you start lifting weights. You may start with a five pound, you know, lifting a five pound for a week. And then you realize that your body's getting used to it. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna hike up and you're gonna go to the 10 pounds and so on. As your body gets used to certain weights, you know that you have to take it to the next level. Now, as you grow in your relationship with Christ, some situations may seem easier in older seasons. And as you grow, you realize, hey, man, I've had to have faith for this thing for a longer period of time. God, what is going on? He is helping you develop your faith and grow your faith so that you can get stronger. The reason why you go up to another weight is because you want to bulk up some more and your body has gotten used to it. You don't ever want to get to a place where you get too comfortable with God doing something a certain kind of way. God may have done your breakthrough one way in the last season, but I promise you that he will not do it the same exact way in the next season. Sometimes you might have to wait a little longer. Sometimes it's not going to be exactly like you imagined. It's actually going to exceed your expectations which is why we have to be willing to wait on him because it's not going to look the same i know that for sure when i first started out and i first became christian i promise you everything that i believed for would happen i did not have to wait on anything but the older i grew i realized there would be seasons of me really having to dig my heels in and rely on who god says that he is and really believe that are they difficult seasons? Yes, they are at times. But at the end of the day, I know that if God made a way before, he has to do it now. He's consistent in his character. He's consistent in his intentions. He's consistent as being king and sovereign over all. So if he did it before, he will do it again. Jesus said, all things are possible if you have faith. 
have faith. I pray that you your faith would be restored. And sometimes we're not even believing for like financial breakthroughs. We're believing for restorations in our family, restoration in relationships, healing in our hearts, healing in our bodies. Whatever it is that you are in need of, if you have faith for that impossible situation, it can be possible through God. Not by might, not by power, but by the spirit of the most high God, because he alone is able. He alone knows everything that needs to happen in order to get you to where you need to be. So I encourage you, have faith. Have the faith to believe that God can do anything, anything, as long as it lines up with his will. He is more than willing to do it. And I'm going to pray now. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for every single person watching this. Oh God, I just pray, Lord God, that you would bless them. I pray, Lord God, that their faith would just be, come to another level in believing that you are the God that can do the impossible. You are the God that can go against the grain of what the world says, God. We are not self-made. We are not independent, God. We are dependent on you we are in need of you we are in need of your hand to move in our lives oh god so we come before you asking and pleading for you to do exactly what you said that you would do believing that you are a man of your word that you are not a liar that you are not like anybody else in this world oh god and i thank you lord for those who may have been waiting for a long period of time i pray lord god that you would strengthen them i, I pray that you would show them that you've given them the grace to wait that you've given them the grace to handle the season and to endure oh god but breakthrough is coming let us not get settled in in the waiting season but let us expect that there is an end of this hallway god as we wait we will praise you we will honor you we will lift your name on high and we will acknowledge you as king overall and i pray for every single person that is believing for restoration in families, especially in this Thanksgiving season. Oh God, I pray God that you would do what only you can do in their families and in their hearts. I give you all the honor and all the glory in Jesus mighty name. I pray. Amen. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. And I pray that everyone has a blessed Thanksgiving, that it wouldn't be rough around the edges with, you know, family members. I know that can be difficult, but I'm praying for each and every single one of you. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. It definitely helps. Let me know what you guys think about the word down below. Love y'all, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.